In microelectronics, a a Euro 3 dimensional integrated circuit A Euro is an integrated circuit manufactured by stacking silicon wafers and or dies and interconnecting them vertically using through silicon vias so that they behave as a single device to achieve performance improvements at reduced power and smaller footprint than conventional two-dimensional processes. 3D IC is just one of a host of 3D integration schemes that exploit the Z-direction to achieve electrical performance benefits. They can be classified by their level of interconnect hierarchy at the global, intermediate and local level in general. 3D integration is a broad term that includes such technologies as 3D wafer level packaging. 2.5D and 3D interposer based integration. 3D stacked ICs, monolithic 3D ICs. 3D heterogeneous integration. And 3D systems integration. International organizations such as the JISO Technology Roadmap Committee and the International Technology Roadmap for Semiconductors have worked to classify the various 3D integration technologies to further the establishment of standards and roadmaps of 3D integration. 3D ICs versus 3D packaging 3D packaging refers to 3D integration schemes that rely on traditional methods of interconnect such as wire bonding and flip chip to achieve vertical stacks. 3D packaging can be disseminated further into 3D system in package and 3D wafer level package. Stacked memory die interconnected with wire bonds, and package on package configurations interconnected with either wire bonds, or flip chips are 3D SIPs that have been in mainstream manufacturing for some time and have a well established infrastructure. POP is used for vertically integrating disparate technologies such as 3D WLP uses wafer level processes such as redistribution layers and wafer bumping processes to form interconnects. 2.5D interposer is also a 3D WLP that interconnects die side side on a silicon, glass or organic interposer using TSVs and a DL. In all types of 3D packaging, chips in the package communicate using off-chip signaling much as if they were mounted in separate packages on a normal circuit board. 3D ICs can be divided into 3D stacked ICs, which refers to stacking IC chips using TSV interconnects, and monolithic 3D ICs, which use fab processes to realize 3D interconnects at the local levels of the on-chip wiring hierarchy as set forth by the ITRS. This results in direct vertical interconnects between device layers. The first examples of a monolithic approach are seen in Samsung Euro unregistered trademark S3 DVNAND devices. 3D CCS, the digital electronics market requires a higher density semiconductor memory chip to cater to recently released CPU components, and the multiple die stacking technique has been suggested as a solution to this problem. JDEC disclosed the upcoming DRAM technology includes the 3D SIC die stacking plan at Server Memory Forum, November 1 to Euro 2, 2011, Santa Clara, CA. In August 2014, Samsung started producing 64GB DRAM modules for servers based on emerging DDR4 memory using 3D TSV package technology. Newer proposed standards for 3D stack DRAM include wide I.O., Wide I.O. 2, Hybrid Memory Cube, High Bandwidth Memory. Monolithic 3D ICs, Monolithic 3D ICs are built in layers on a single semiconductor wafer, which is then diced into 3D ICs. There is only one substrate, hence no need for aligning, thinning, bonding, or through silicon vias. Process temperature limitations are addressed by partitioning the transistor fabrication to two phases. A high temperature phase which is done before layer transfer followed by a layer transfer use ion cut, also known as layer transfer, which has been used to produce silicon on insulator wafers for the past two decades. Multiple thin layers of virtually defect-free silicon can be created by utilizing low temperature. 